Any reading recommendations? Yeah, we about to read this article right here from Insider Gaming. Dead Cells developer to release a new Prince of Persia game in Steam Early Access. This is fucking crazy. Ubisoft is set to release its next Prince of Persia game later this year on Steam, developed by Dead Cells developer Evil Empire. Good developer. But this is crazy because the last one, they just released a new Prince of Persia game this year. And according to reports, nobody bought that shit. And it was a good game, which is a shame. It's because it was the Prince of Ethiopia. You know, it was too many DEIs in the game, so the people didn't like it. The game, The Rogue Prince of Persia, will launch in early access on Steam and mark Ubisoft's first day on Steam release since 2019. Sources say The Rogue Prince of Persia is a new roguelite that will receive constant free updates and evolve over time based on... You lost me a roguelite. You lost me. I remember I saw comments talking about Mr. Beast is scared of someone replacing him. I never laughed so hard. That man makes a lot of money. He's good. He could stop today. He's fine. <laughs> that man, that man just that man that man just scored a hundred million dollar deal with Amazon. Like people just be hating, dog. Just be hating. And I don't even like his content. I don't even watch it. But you could still, you should still be able to recognize something and, and recognize somebody's hustle. Like, what are you talking about, bro? This yo, this nigga just sold off. This nigga just signed a hundred million dollar deal with Amazon. That's it. He fell off. He fell off. What are you talking about, man? Like, <laughs> do you have a hundred million dollars? Shit, if that's falling off, hey, chat, I'm trying to fall off today. I'm trying to fall off today, please. Oh, my God. I, if I, I ain't even going to hold you. I get a hundred million dollar deal, I'm going to turn into fucking, uh, what's old boy? What was the president that used to do this shit? The Watergate ass nigga with the big, with the big ass nose. What was his name? I'm going to be out. Fucking disappear. I'll be gone for a month. Nixon, yeah, Richard Nixon. I'm out. <laughs> right, so I can't wait. To, I'm taking a three month hiatus, you bitch ass niggas. Uh, I understand the game's been in development for four years, and happened thanks to the discussion between Evil Empire and Ubisoft at GDC. Hmm. Uh, uh. The game is set to take its art direction inspiration heavily from Franco Belgian's comics. It's currently unclear when the game will officially be announced, but the game is targeting an early access release on Steam later this year. Dun, dun. Is how do I follow? Yeah, we need to Google this shit. How do we follow? Does anybody care? Dead Cells developer working on a um, Prince of Persia game. I feel like this shit's gonna flop. Even if this is the developer, it's gonna flop just because the last one flopped. And people are gonna, I like, I'm telling you right, this was gonna happen. When the trailer drops for this shit, people are gonna be like, what the fuck? You just dropped a, a Prince of Persia game. Unless the game, I, I could be wrong. Unless the gameplay is absolutely fucking fire and like innovative, there's a high probability when the trailer drops for this game, if it's real, people are gonna say, what the fuck? You just put out a Prince of Persia game. I'm not buying this shit. What's a roguelike game? Like Hades. It's one of those games where you basically have one life to live and you got to run through the whole game or like you have to run through. Sometimes it's, it's broken into sections. Like I think those the PS5 game. It's like biomes. You have to make it through a whole section before getting into. Yeah, like Returnal. I don't like those games personally. It's sweat ass single player games. Like, yeah, I'm going to get off that. Shout out to Trolling with the sub. Appreciate it. I appreciate it people do love roguelikes though they do they do that's what i said like there's there's still a chance it could succeed that's what I'm, I'm not gonna say it's gonna flat out fail but i do think they're um they're cannibalizing themselves it's like releasing two call of duties back to back like nigga we're already tired of call of duty what the fuck yeah. dead cells dev would have been good without ubisoft hey maybe they wanted like an, a bigger ip although is prince of persia really that big right now i don't know because the latest one was isn't selling too well so Sifu's lit. Yeah, Sifu is a, is a roguelite. That was a good game. Sifu also benefited from it being a kung fu game, though. Uh, there's no way this one could fail. We'll, we'll see. I, I'll tell you how it could fail. Even if it's the even if it's got a good developer behind it, what if they come out and the Prince of Persia is still black? Oh, it's gonna fail. The Prince of DEIs, the Prince of the Prince of woke. <laughs> It could definitely fail, trust me. Uh, when was the last Prince of Persia successful? On the GameCube and PS2? When that trilogy? Time and questions answered. What the fuck is this? I don't even know why I picked this up. Whatever. Yeah, the Prince of LGBTQ. Like, bro. It's woke. They're putting woke in our, our games again. Um, Speaking of uh, talking out your ass. Dragon's Dogma 2 has sold over 2.5 million units in its first two days. Hasn't even been two weeks and it sold almost 3 million units. Um, 
This is a good sign for the people out there boycotting the microtransactions. You guys are really sticking it to Capcom. As you can see, nobody's hardly buying the game. Once again, just wanted to, you know, bring this up as proof that the internet is not a real place. Niggas just be on the internet yapping. Niggas, niggas, niggas be on the internet saying, oh, I'm not going to buy Dragon's Dogma 2. Fuck Capcom. Y'all yeah, know the meme of um Russell Westbrook when he's eating the food on the sideline? That's y'all. That's y'all. That's y'all. Played seafood this weekend, got to the club section, and started getting cooked. Oh, yeah, it's one of those games, like, it's a trial and error. You're going to have to learn all the patterns and shit like that. How much does Spider-Man sell again? I think it's at, like, 10 million units. Don't worry, they're going to check the current player base stats in nine months and say it's an L. Yeah, even though it's a single-player game, it's because of the sub box. <laughs> no Apex. I forgot about that. No Apex August. That shit didn't did that no pay no Apex August didn't even last six hours. Niggas was back on that game two hours later. Uh, I gotta play it a fucking itch, man. <laughs> Boo. Alright, let's see what's going on in this sub box. Boom, boom, no, 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 no. Stellar Blade exclusive gameplay. I mean, I played the game already. I don't need to see any of that. Halo Infinite official yapping too? There's a yapper trailer? What? Armor reforger? What the hell? What is this, Ronin? Oh my god. Why can I not click your damn link? Joker! Foil. Huh? Fule. Fule edux? What the fuck is this shit? First poster. Just Joker 2. First poster shows the dancing Joaquin Phoenix and Lady Gaga. What do you want me to say? It's a Joker poster. I don't care. Ain't this shit supposed to be a musical? I am not interested in this movie until a trailer drops. I hate musicals, so... The, the only musical I've ever liked is High School Musical. And I'm gonna be honest, they better get their head in the game. Joker. DC. They need to get their head in the game. I don't know about this movie, man. If this movie turns out to be ass is going to be one of the most astronomical fumbles of all time. We went from one great movie to another DCUS movie, bro. You can't fuck with Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? No, I'm good off that. I've never really liked Charlie and the Chocolate Factory either. I don't get the appeal of it. To me, it's creepy. A middle-aged man hangs out with a bunch of kids eating gumballs and chocolate. What the fuck, nigga? Y'all know, y'all already know how I feel about candy, like as a grown man, why are you indulging in so much candy? Why is your blood pressure and your fucking, your sugar level so goddamn high? Don't hate TH, we all in this together. We're all in this together. I hope this movie is good. I just don't like the idea of a musical. But hey, maybe they pull it off. Maybe it's something that, cause sometimes a, a, a great invention is, is, is when somebody invents something that people didn't even know they needed. You didn't know you needed an iPhone until it came out or an Android, the smartphone, you get the point. You know, the candle was the best thing walking until the light bulb came out. So who knows? Maybe a musical is what I need. Uh, <laughs> article says when to expect the first trailer. Uh, debut trailers on the 9th. Oh, so next week. What is that? Next Tuesday? We're going to react to it. We're going to react to it. Dun, dun. Has Lady Gaga ever acted before? I've never seen her in a movie. Who's seeing Monkey Man this week? Da, 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 da. He said, come on now. No one needs an iPhone. Cut it out. Um, come on, guys. There would be no Android without iPhone. iPhone was the first smartphone to get it right. Cut it out. I was in high school. I was in, If you had an iPhone in 2007, you were a rich nigga. <laughs> Cut it out. I know y'all hate it now, but it did innovate at one point. We, let's not have a revisionist history. Armor Reforger. Wasn't she an American Horror Story for a season? I don't even know what that is. She was an she was Oscar nominated, I recall. I will see Monkey Man at the Silver Spot Cinema Theater. Did you just drop your location, Ronan? What are you doing? What are you doing, Ronan? <laughs> you didn't say AMC. That sounds like a very specific movie theater. Nigga, stop. <laughs> Shout out to tra Trace Phone. You mean track phones? track for the trap for this nigga is crazy boy it's in your area too no it's not i don't know what the fuck you talking about 
This nigga just doxed himself. This is crazy. You said you want to drop your IP. You lucky there's no weirdos in the chat, bro. At least I hope. <laughs> Armor Reforger. What the fuck is this toy shit? I'm not a musical person as well. I recommend watching La La Land, not too musically. A great story. I, I take that back. Um, yeah, the only musicals I ever liked was High School Musical. And then what was it? West Side Story? When you're a jet. That shit is only good because it's fucking cheesy as fuck. Like, <laughs> like, wow, these niggas really, these niggas are really used to gangbang and Levi jeans and shit. Like, <laughs> pull out the pockets. When you're a shark, when you're a jet, don't touch Maria. She's mine. What am I looking at? Grease? I have a confession chat. I've never seen Grease before. I've never seen it before. And it's because honestly, it never interests me. Just, it's one of those like, just it just never interests me, you know. Never, never. I'm gonna be honest. I never would have seen West Side Story if it, they didn't show it in class when I was like in middle school or some shit. Toy Soldier, the video game. Kids don't even play with toys anymore. Do they get the reference? To say you grew up in the struggle. Cause I ain't seen Greece. What does that mean? Nah, I just didn't grow up on that, bro. I grew up on um, coming to America. I grew up on Comic View. I just didn't grow up on that type of shit, bro. I, I don't know nothing about no Greece. I couldn't sing you one song. Uh, only care about no greasy head ass niggas anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. This thing called me broke because I ain't seen Grease. Uh, you seen The Wizard of Oz? Yeah, I have seen The Wizard of Oz. I've seen The Wizard of Oz. And I've seen The Wiz. I've seen both. The black ass version. I've seen both. Yeah, we're not playing this. I don't even know why I'm looking at this trailer. You seen Blank Man? I have seen Blake Man. It's a black ass movie. Um, Halo Infinite. What the fuck is official yapping? Are they literally yapping? The yapping too. No, 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 no. You about to see a fuck ton of Wizard of Oz if you ever get kids? Well, I'm never having kids because you gotta have sex to get that, and I'm scared of girls. Uh <laughs> Why do you say that? Like kids love the Wizard of Oz. Like, uh... <laughs> yeah, I'm only gonna soak if I get the chance. It's definitely Bionicle. They do love it. Ah, I had no idea. What do the comments say? So this is just like. Safe and last. Yeah, I thought the kids like Bluey. Damn it, 343. Three. It's over, y'all. Come on. Yeah, I'll stick to Helldivers too, though, Xbox. I mean, to be fair, they said like months ago they're sunsetting the game like a couple months ago. So like they said they have a couple more updates. They're going to drop their minor updates. As you can see, some skins and some goofy shit, some trinkets on your gun. They're sunsetting this game. It's dead, guys. Halo Infinite failed. 343 three Industries, the only company on earth where they constantly get rehired for doing a shit job. Any, anyone, anybody else, if you do a poor job at your job, you would get fired. But for some reason, Microsoft will not fire 343, three, and they keep letting them fuck up Halo. This is I, this is insane. There needs to be a documentary on the, 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 the executive decisions behind keeping 343 three in, you know? At least, at least with the coalition when they took over um, Gears of War... They never really dropped, the Coalition never really dropped a great Gears of War, in my opinion. But Gears 4 and 5, they're still okay. Like, they're they're good. They're they're okay. These niggas never made a good Halo. Like, <laughs> it's fucking insane. It's fucking insane. I feel like, I feel like with Gears of War, it just kind of ran its course. It doesn't really feel like they innovated enough. They, with Halo, they just don't know what to do, bro. And the TV show sucks. Let's make Master Chief a naked nigga. What the fuck? What else is going on in the sub box? This looks fire. All right, Ronin. This is the last link. Boy kills world. This is why does it look like Monkey Man? 
I kind of like the TV show. Somebody, statistically speaking, somebody out there's got to like it. You think Halo is a series is like Gears? They should just sun. Yeah, I think they should let all that shit go. I think they should stop making Gears and they should stop making Halo. At least take five years off. Let people miss it and focus on new IPs. <laughs> This feels important. This is the whole plan. What am I looking not at? not go in guns ablaze and security's gonna be airtight. Deeply confused. This looks stupid. I'm not watching this. Um, back to what I was doing. Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone. I don't care about that. Um, Children of the Sun. Did you see the OG The Crow movie? How you feeling about it? I've never seen the OG Crow. I don't know anything about it, so I couldn't tell you nothing about the new one. Hypnotic New Drugs. Forever Skies. Stellar Blade. Official Eve trailer. Fallout exclusive behind the scenes. Okay, the TV show's coming. We saw that joint already. Um... Medieval Dynasty New Settlement VR. Gross. Uh. <laughs> Super Dragon Punch Force 3 open beta trailer. Uh. Official 39th Maximus Cup gameplay Tetris. Uh. Mech Warrior Clans official gameplay trailer. Is that new? Jump Ship Explainer trailer. I need an Asura's Wrath spinoff bad. Asura's Wrath was hella underrated. Jump ship the first preview. Oh, we got a new game on the horizon. Hold up, y'all. Let's see what this is about. Uh, let's see. Official. Let's do the official explainer trailer. Jump ship. New game. Actually been five years since Gears 5. Hi, I'm Phil. About that time. From Keepsake Games, and this is Jump Ship. A mission-based co-op PvE space adventure. Hell divers. Teamwork is crucial. Mount turrets. This isn't hell divers. This is space divers. Tackle emergencies and ensure your ship's integrity to complete missions and reap the rewards. While jump ship is best enjoyed with up to four players, solo players are welcome too. Each mission in jump ship demands strategic choices. Is PvE co-op the new the new wave in the industry? Board, but take a safer route. Do you want components for your ship? Do you need repairs? Or perhaps some extra credits? All right, we just arrived. There seems to be a jammer preventing us from jumping further. Let's make a way there and disable it. Using our sensors, we can tell that ships are patrolling the area. With some good positioning and teamwork, though, I'm sure we can make a way past them undetected. A little stealth? We made it. Time to enter the facility. On foot, it's essential to stay together and Gunplay looks good. and equipment you've looted to stay alive. When that's done and all loot is collected, it's time to return to the ship and... Pirates! All crew to their stations! Why he say it like that? Pirates! <laughs> like that shit wasn't scripted. This is what Stars, Stars Field should have been? Maybe, I don't know. Oof, that was close. Good thing nothing got severely broken. Let's jump to the next sector. I wonder what we'll find there. Jump ship is packed with a wide range of challenges from intense ship battles to on-foot exploration and sometimes a mix at least of both. At least it sounds like he's into it, right, right. Jump, we feel fresh, Game looks pretty though. Something different. Ooh, okay, that was pretty cool. Not sure you start with choosing your ship. Pulling up with your boys. <sighs> you go on a mission, reap the rewards, and then return back to your hangar. Play a little soccer. There you can upgrade your ships, purchase new equipment before embarking on a new adventure. And that's Jump Ship. Preach wish list, like and subscribe, and join our community. No! Can y'all see that? It's made with Unity. Right there, it's made with Unity, chat. They robbing their developers. They about to get all their money took it, bro. Y'all need to switch to Unreal. I'm interested. Well, IGN's got a video. It does look interesting. That was the overview. Every Let's see. The IGN got a, her early hands-on preview, I guess. Uh, let's see what IGN says. 
once in a while, my job affords me the wonderful opportunity to go into a game demo. Probably was too late into development, yeah. And come out completely. They couldn't switch engines. All I knew about Jump Ship before I met with three of its 10-person Swedish development team, including Daniel Kaplan, who was employee number one at Mojang, and Philip Koulianos, a co-founder at Hazel, Kuliano. was that it was codenamed Hyperspace and that it would be a, quote, four-player co-op adventure where you and three of your friends get to live the ultimate space Whatever happened to the first Descendant game? It started as a tech- That was just a beta. It's coming out later. Oh, but everyone loved it, so now it's being made into a full game. I was fortunate enough to play a 30-minute session with Kaplan, Koulianos, and another the member- Space combat looks- I mean, the ship combat looks pretty intense. Keepsake games, and I was blown away. Oh, he says he was blown away. I hate this guy's energy, Ryan McCaffrey. This is the guy that tweeted like a few weeks ago, I'm pretty sure. It's the guy who tweeted that, uh, remember when the rumors were coming out um, that Xbox was going to stop making consoles and go full-blown third party like Sega? He had put out a tweet. He was like, Microsoft needs to address this. They're looking weak. Let me let me Google. I'm pretty sure that's this is the guy. Because I remember he's this nigga's goofy looking and it made me laugh. <laughs> How do you spell his name? Ryan. Mc oh, wait, there it is. Ryan McCaffrey. Yeah, this is. <laughs> it's this goofy ass nigga, bro. This goofy ass nigga, bro, was on Twitter talking about some. You look weak, Microsoft. Nigga, you look weak. Like, like, <laughs> like and first of all, it's just video games, dude. It's fucking video games. Relax. And then on top of that, he ended up being wrong. The rumors weren't true about them going third party. But I, it's just like, I don't know. Like, stuff like that. Like, I don't have any personal quarrel with this dude. Please don't take it as that. It's just the lack of self-awareness that makes it funny to me. You look weak. Like, my nigga, you look weak. You look like you can't hit five push-ups. Please stop. Like, <laughs> fucking stop. Just say, I hope it's not true. It was just the extras in that, in that fucking tweet. I'm like, bro, you're taking this too seriously. Taking this console war shit. By keeps <laughs> Linus Tech Tips Earth 2. One that I'd co sign after playing the game for myself. Jump Ship is a clear mix of Sea of Thieves. Yo, shout out to Luke with the sub. Appreciate it. The Sea of Thieves piece comes from the fact that you and your three teammates all work together to fly, upgrade, customize, and maintain a single spaceship. One of you flies it while the others can wander around. It looks like you can dial 911 on pretty fast. Of it, if you pass through an airlock and then use your magnetized boots to stomp around the hull, manning, fixing, or upgrading the ship's cannons. That in and of itself is fun. But Damn, so this is basically what Skull and Bones should have been, but like the space version. Because he's saying one person is steering the ship and the other players have to manage the ship. That's literally what Skull and Bones was supposed to be. I'm interested. But even if Jump Ship was just Sea of Thieves in space, where you and your crew cooperated in ship-to-ship -ship battles, it'd still probably be pretty cool. I hope the devs don't become overwhelmed if the game ends up having a larger player base than expected. Yeah. The only thing is, like, it, he said it was 10 people working on the game. It doesn't mean they have 10 servers. We don't know what the budget is for the servers. What happened with Helldivers 2 is they, they just underestimated. It had nothing to do with the size of the team. They underestimated how many people would be on the servers. If they would have been in it, it's the lack of foresight. And to be fair for the Helldivers people, I think I read when Helldivers 1 was out at its peak, they had 10,000 people playing the game. So they predicted at best they'd have 40 to 50,000 people. There's no way they could have predicted that. I don't think it had anything to do that the, the the dev team size only became an issue for hell divers too when it came to like patching things like the issues with the game but the server size that was just them trying to gauge based off previous success it had nothing to do with the size of the company the but instead yeah, it was just unexpected also land your ship use your jet drive to awesomely fly through the that air looks like fun. superman away from or towards your ship go into instance combat areas and battle ai enemies this level design looks fucking fire. Like you running through this with your boys. It kind of reminds me of old school, um, like Halo 3, the big ass sand map. It kind of reminds me of that. Jump Ship, by the way, is a purely PVE game, marking one major difference from Sea of Thieves. No, I haven't played the new Outcast, not my cup of tea. Tough, thus necessitating cooperation with your pals. It's challenging too. A grenade spider bomb. Add in that an AI director, to use Valve's term, dynamically populates these encounters and you can see where the left for dead ingredient in Jump Ship's recipe comes from. Manual override is required. 
I had a fantastic time blasting bots with the Keepsake developers. Finally, FTL. On board your ship, you'll manage power conduits and other ship functions in an FTL-esque minigame, which sadly I don't have footage of. Was All of goal? it combines into sure a moment-to-moment -moment that's never dull and constantly evolving. Hostile entities detected. Just when you get bored of manning the ship, assuming you're not the pilot, which by the way is super fun, it's time to land that, and go into full He said, that, that's translation for you and your friends will be fighting for who gets to be the pilot. <laughs> shooter mode. And when you've done plenty of shooting and got your loot reward and are escaping and being blasted. This could be fire if they could do like raids, like with really hard boss fights and shit like that. Parts, you're scrambling aboard the ship to make necessary repairs like a Star Trek crew. Meanwhile, you can choose any number of mission types from your ship map, from smaller loot light payoffs mission that escape won't take space too long, <laughs> to longer multi-part episodes that have bigger rewards. Keepsake promises a metagame that will enable various forms of permanent character and ship progression, but naturally I didn't have a chance to see those in my short- He kind of just answered the question right there, so it's gonna be a lot of different goals, story-driven stuff, loot, Interesting. Hands-on session. Still, I've seen enough to be thoroughly convinced. Jump Ship is going to take us through crazy space battles, dogfights in the skies of planets, intense on-foot missions on the ground, and more. All while working together with three friends in ways that feel fun and useful without being... We like in the name? Jump Ship? That's a good name. It's very simple. Very clean. I'm not mad at it. That's good marketing. Kaplan and Koulianos told me that it's going to ship simultaneously on PC and Xbox whenever Makes sense in terms ready, of the game, too. And I can't wait. For more looks at the latest upcoming games, check out our previews of Dune Awakening and Visions of Mana. It looks and good. Uh, we'll keep an eye on it. We'll keep an eye on it. When does this shit come out? Uh, somebody said, is it coming to PS5? It's only it's in development for PC and Xbox, it says. Uh, yeah, so no PlayStation. I'm pretty sure if this shit pops off, the PlayStation crowd will cry and maybe it'll come. Especially because it's an indie dev team. I'm pretty sure they want to make some money. Unless Microsoft cuts a check. You said, what? No PS4? Planet side vibes? I don't know about planet side because it's not on the scale of that. But they, we'll, we'll keep an eye. The name of the game is Jump Ship. We will keep an eye on that game. Um, Mech Warrior 5 Clans. Is it free to play? Didn't say. You five are the final vestiges of our. Is this a mobile game? Some deem my one. Have you watched the interview for Phantom Blade? What's Phantom Blade? Day be of value to the clan. You mean Stellar Blade? I am not one of them. To me, you five are the excrement of Where's a the game semi aborted batch from my bloodhouse. Far from the pinnacle of humanity demanded by the clan's geneticist that spawned you. Does anybody remember the mech game on the Kinect? You played a mech game on the Kinect? Bro, you are fucking crazy. I was rewatching your Elden Ring videos earlier this week. Can't wait for more Elden Ring streams. I'm sure it's going to be comedy. Phantom Blade Zero? Just show me what those Stravics on Lunderhome taught you. Commencing a scan of the area. Eh, this looks mid. Uh, let's see. Phantom Blade Zero interview. Five months ago. Yeah, I remember this game. This shit looks fire. There's, is there something new? Did I miss something? Yeah, I'm jumping on Stellar Blade. I don't see nothing new. Uh, what's new with it? Yeah, there's nothing new going on with this shit. Uh, yeah, I remember Mag for PS3. Yeah, it was ahead of his time. Too ambitious. Super Dragon Punch Force 3 open beta gameplay. Fighting game? This is fucking Leapfrog. Leapfrog Street Fighter. Coming exclusively to the iPad 2. <laughs> This shit the fuck out of here, bro. This goofy ass game out of here. This shit about to be a Samsung Galaxy S3 exclusive. Already better than Mortal Kombat 1. I mean, that's not hard to do. 
Yeah, Fisher Price ass fighting game. Dream come true for me as a director because you're picking up the mantle of something. When does come so out? So many talented writers and artists have worked on for so many decades, and we knew that we wanted to tell an original story within the Fallout universe. We were drawn to the idea of creating characters who the would- The 11th? Oh, next week, I think. Factions. That's like, what, next Friday, I think? Fallout is so famous for, so a vault dweller, a ghoul, a member of the Brotherhood of Steel. We wanted to show as much of the world- Yeah, I'm on this. Through different lenses, and it just makes- I need to binge Invincible the last half of the season. My name is Lucy McLean, and I'm an active contributor- Hey, who got her pregnant? And the, they was fucking in the in the fallout vault with the, the well-being of my community. She is reviews come out for this show. I haven't seen any, America. but reviews are coming out for Monkey Man, and they they saying that shit fire. And then she really has her whole world rocked. She comes out onto the surface and experiences the world for the first time. Excuse me, hi. I just want to ask you for directions. And then it gets real ugly, real fast. Hello again. The ghoul is, is someone who has seen the worst that we have to offer as human beings. He's about as ruthless as they come. Fallout is a true cowboy. The between the haves and the have nots in a world where it's kill or be killed. We find Maximus as a recruit. He's a part of the Brotherhood of Steel. Seeing these T60s, something that symbolizes power, it's a moment of awe. What, hey, what group would y'all join in Fallout if you could? What faction would y'all join? The introduction of Lucian, I don't think it's anything that he would. I, I feel like I would join the Brotherhood of Steel, get an armor suit, and then run away. Because I wouldn't want to be, them niggas weird, but I just want the power suit. Never expected. <laughs> Start my own band. is very different from the vault. Fallout does a really great job of showing both sides of that coin. I love a big Minuteman. So be able to juxtapose. You would join the Minuteman. You know what comes with that, right? Hey, there's a settlement on your map that needs your help. Yo, shout out to Helmer with the sub. I appreciate it. The real human emotions with this large scale is a kind of story that I like to see. There's a tone. That's the correct of answer. How exactly how I play Fallout meets Doctor Strange. Love meets Star Wars. Balancing the darker, more emotional moments with the profound humor creates the unique tone of Fallout. You're an actual vault dweller. I am. <laughs> I thought all you dipshits were dead. Practically every person I've met up here has tried to kill me. You have never been on a ride like this before. You look out at this wasteland, it looks like chaos. But there's always somebody behind the wheel. Got the werewolf. Shout out to Sugar Free with the sub. I hope there's like references to the games. I know it's an original story, but that'd be cool to like connect some dots. Boom, 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 boom. I joined the BLS in New Vegas, then dipped, joined in Fallout 4, then dipped and murdered them all. <laughs> Let me just get that armor. Let me just, not nah, freaky meeky. Let me get that armor. This show looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie. It does look pretty good. I hope, um, the only thing is like, we can't get too excited, chat. You remember, you remember, you remember the trailers for the flash, the trailers for the flash looked good. That the flash's trailers might be one of the greatest pull, pull the wool over the eyes play I've ever seen in recent memory in my lifetime. Everybody was excited about that shit. Then the movie came out. The trailers is the best part. <laughs> Stellar Blade official Eve trailer. Eve. What are you going to do after you defeat the Alpha Nativa? You playing Dragon's Dogma or are you yeah, running lobbies again? Uh, I might boot out the lobbies. Purpose. All we must do is complete the mission. To think that the point of your existence is to snuff out another species. <laughs> no fun in that. You think Diablo 4 being on Game Pass will do anything for it? Yeah, it will. It'll boost it. Will they stay long term? I don't know. I have not faced the Eddie yet. We had some in our lobbies yesterday, but I didn't get any. I didn't get a chance to play. They just didn't like the stars didn't align. Who's excited? The stars did not align for the giant. This is all stuff from yesterday. I guess we're caught up on the news. We are caught up. Who the fuck is still playing? For Honor, For Honor official April Fool Switcheroo trailer. What? <laughs> Oh my 
my god, this is so funny. What's wild about Stellar Blade is I've barely seen any gameplay on Twitter, just videos of characters standing still or walking. The game is actually good, though. Uh, I think it's just like a meme, that's all. Alright, Ubisoft. Alright, I'm about to get...